So that's the game. All right. I'm here with Nathan. We're going to play an 1,850-point game. We've rolled up the scouring. We've rolled up hammer and anvil. Nathan, what's in your army? Uh, I've got a combo marine, Damon's Force. Uh, primary is the marines. So I've got a Nurgle Lord, I've got an axe, I've got a Nurgle Sorcerer staff, and there's three units of Plague Marines. Uh, I've got two Plasma Squads, a Melta Squad. They're all riding in Rhinos. And then for the uh, Damon Detachment, I've got a Grand and Clean one, a little HQ, I've got a heavy. Uh, oh, I just realized my list is illegal. That could be an issue. Okay, we're giving him a special dispensation since I kind of surprised him with this game. Uh-huh. Illegal list, so, you know. Uh, and then I've also got a Nurgle Soul Grinder, uh, a unit of Plague Bearers, and then these guys are the uh, Beast of Nurgle. Alright, for me, I'm going to be playing 30k. And you play Legion Death Guard using their Rite of War. I've got. He's the guy with those little three spider legs on his side. <laughs> okay, Jeff. He's that guy. I'm going to use two Masters of Signal, uh, a attack squad uh, joining an apothecary, another attack squad joining another apothecary, a thud gu- two thud guns, one over there, one over there, a tactical support squad, flamers, a uh, unit of auto cannons, a unit of missile launchers, and a paladin. That's the one with the battle cannon, right? Uh, so... Hammer and anvil, we'll get back whenever we've set up. All right, we're about ready for first turn here, Nathan. Mm-hmm. What have you deployed? Uh, I've cut out everything except for my uh, red and clean one and a unit of uh, plague bearers, so I just tried to kind of deploy behind cover where possible. Um, got my DP hiding behind a wall, which is kind of the most expensive thing, so that's why I was more about him. Everything else is in a rhino or getting cover from their uh, Damon and Urgle stuff. Uh, I'm hoping I can weather uh, all this horrible, horrible shooting on the other side of the board. And there's a lot of it. I'm pretty much deployed, gun line style. I got the infiltrate, warlord trait, which didn't really help me much. I got to be like two inches outside of my <laughs> deploy zone with a unit or two. Uh, Nathan had won the roll to go first. So I'm going to try to seize. I did not. Back after turn one. Uh, top of turn one. Uh, basically, I moved everybody forward. Um, I cast Endurance for my Prince and Perils. He took a wound uh, and lost Endurance. Uh, he forgot it. But uh, I got Endurance off on the Beast. Um, then I did a little bit of shooting. The only thing that really happened is the uh, Soul Grinder managed to kill one of his... Uh, guys from his flamer squad over here. And other than that, I just basically just move forward. We'll see whether he weathers the storm. Yeah. So, on the bottom of turn one, I didn't move anything but the knight forward. Uh, ended up blowing up two rhinos and one beast and a couple wounds. Two, got another one. Two or three wounds. Yeah, and some of those guys are stunned over there. Uh, it wasn't a very effective turn. We'll see what happens. Top of two. What happened, Nathan? Terrible things. <laughs> uh, move forward some more. I decided to fly my DP up because uh, he had a flamer psychic attack, but uh, I didn't realize he had apothecaries in the unit, so I ended up only killing one because of the film of pain. So that probably wasn't worth foregoing the charge. It was still really good film of pains. You'd have had a trouble with that unit anyway. Um, and then I uh, moved the Sorcerer's unit forward. Uh, the big terrible thing that happened is I charged with my unit of beasts and just didn't really do anything, and then I lost by, I think, six. So when I made my uh, instability roll from them, they just evaporated. Um, and then I took a couple of shots at the, uh, at the big guy, uh, the knight, but it didn't really do anything. I think I shot at the flamers, too. Also didn't do anything. All in all, it was Really bad turn. Oh yeah, at the beginning of the turn, my uh, I peril or mishapped with my uh, my great and clean. I tried to drop him in right there uh, in front of some guys, and he rolled into his unit. And then my uh, plague bearers dropped in to secure the uh, the rear units or rear objective. So all in all, not not a good turn for me. I don't know if I can recover, uh, but we'll see. 
Right, on to turn two. Alright, so that at the end of turn two, I used uh, my thud guns. One of my thumb guns missed completely. The other one hit everything and annihilated that unit. Uh, I charged over there and killed two dudes. I think I killed one plague marine with a blast over there. Uh, and I really needed to open up that rhino. It's kind of right here. But, uh, made the guys get out and then charged them. Took both units of those to shooting the rhino to kill it. And then on to turn three. Top of turn three, Nathan. What happened? Uh, we're gonna clean one actually came in, stuck around, uh, blew my DP over so they can actually maybe charge next turn. I uh, got uh, some psychic stuff off over here, made these guys tougher. Um, got endurance and iron arm off on the sorcerer. Uh, made a probably a Bad decision. I, I ran in my soul grinder over there, kind of hoping that I could weather the strength D hits, but he got killed before he could even swing. Um, and, then I just, and the other guys are still there. Yeah, I tried to charge. Yeah, my, I do. I am still tying up a clock combat. So, yeah, not a whole lot. I don't think I can pull this off at this point, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, on the bottom of turn three, I tried to shoot this guy, then I tried to charge him. I did one wound to him. So, it's going to get bad next turn. Kill this guy all the way down to the sorcerer and put one wound on him. Uh, I failed this charge over here because he overwatched my front guy. Finished that combat. And pretty much nothing else was very effective. On turn. So, here on the top of the fourth, what happened, Nathan? Um, I won that combat with the DP and they ran off. Um... I tried to make a charge over here to get over to this objective, but I failed by one inch. Um, and I'm running these guys back uh, toward that objective uh, back there. And that's really all that happened. All right, on to the bottom of turn four. Uh, we're at bottom of four. We're almost out of time now. Uh, came over here in Fury of the Legion and got... Got the warlord, but there's still one guy troop over there. Of course, I shot a million shots at him, and he only took one wound, so he's still got one more. I think he rolled 13 non ones straight in a row, something like that. Something stupid. I realized I hadn't been shooting enough auto cannon shots. They get two shots. I don't know. It's been too long since I played, I guess. All right, next turn. All right, so we were starting the fifth, and we were running out of time, so I think Nathan's going to concede. I don't think it would have. It would have come down to whether he could keep this objective from the knight. Uh, keep that of, over there, which he probably could have kept that, no problem. And it would have had to go long enough for him to get in here and kill a whole unit. Because I had three and they were objective secured because they're troops. The heavies are troops because of the Death Guard Rats of War. It would have been very unlikely for me to come back. So that's the game.